Wu Jiamin, many thanks for coming to WPC TV. You are an advisor to the foreign ministry and in China and also former ambassador, I think, to France. Um, if you could look at the situation in the Asia-Pacific region, how does China regard the, the, the so-called pivot to Asia by the United States? Mm -hmm. Is it somehow threatening rather than, rather than accommodating? You know, when we look at the pivot strategy to Asia, we are puzzled because uh, on one side, China-US relationship is growing rapidly. Myself, I went to the US for the first time in 1971. In 1971, the trade volume between China and the US amounted to 5 million US dollars. Last year, 520 billion US dollars. Means what? Means that there is an increasing economic interdependence between China and the US. I think it's good. On the other side, you know, we are disturbed by the repeated statement from US administration about the military alliance. Uh, President Obama said the uh, US-Japan military alliance is a cornerstone of Asia-Pacific security. If that is uh, true, where is the place of other countries, <laughs> China, ASEAN, etc.? People to Asia, to some extent, I understand, because the US as only superpower has to follow the center of gravity of international relations. Since the uh, center of gra gravity of international relations is moving, is shifting from the Atlantic to the Pacific, uh, US has to follow this move. Follow this move, what does it mean? To strengthen military alliance, this is uh, Cold War thinking. I take your point, but I mean, the, presumably the Americans would argue that it's actually the Japanese mm -hmm. who feel somewhat threatened or are uneasy mm -hmm. at the rise of China's power. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it's, it's Japan, among other Asian countries, mm -hmm. that feels the need for this American pivot. You know, there are different logics. Uh, military alliance, people, different countries become allies. Ally, what for? You are aiming at some people, some country. <laughs> military alliance is calling for counter-military alliance. China is uh, refraining from doing so. Because to my understanding, military alliance is something of the past. What we have to do, I think, to develop mutually beneficial uh, cooperation so that the foundation of the relationship between my country and the rest of the world uh, will grow stronger and stronger. Then, when foundation is, is growing stronger and stronger, when we look at our differences, uh, we will be in a better position to deal with our differences. So this is a way. So military alliance, this kind of logics, is coming from Cold War. The Cold War is over. So I think we have to adapt to new reality of the world today. Wu Jiamin, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.